the crowd. Here are my drawings for the project management professional knowledge area of time management. And I like to use the analogy of a file cabinet to represent our project management plan and one of those knowledge areas kept in well within the plans and all the outputs is your time management. And the processes of time management we have one the plan schedule management which as an output obviously should be our schedule management plan. Essentially how we're going to manage as a project these activities within time management. And we also have to take that work breakdown structure that we have been working on in the scope management and define the activities further. And we should have then as an output activity lists and the attributes for those activities and even milestones at a high level. From there we need to sequence these activities and that means dependencies or certain orders that are necessary. And we can present this in a few different ways. We can have project scheduling network diagrams. We can also have project documentation to show that and updates to our project documents that are maybe elsewhere from time. And we also have our estimate activity resources, so human resources and, and materials and and all the other type of uh, resources we might need for our project. And now our output then obviously our activity resource requirements and maybe even a breakdown structure of those resources as well as, an, as always documenting and having updates to our other project documentation. And we also have the process of estimate activity durations which as you may guess is figuring out how long these certain activities should or should not take. And now these three processes I like to draw side by side because well, we have our activity duration estimates which might mean we change it based on the resources, may, maybe even change it based on the sequences. But in all actuality we have these feeding and cycling back and forth and, and evolving based on the information that's available and we keep developing our schedule and our output of developed schedule process of course is a schedule and even a schedule baseline as well as certain other schedule data and of course the documentation updates throughout a project and maybe even a project calendar and other project management plan updates. The only other process that actually is not a planning activity within time management is control schedule which is essentially trying to keep things under control and so we might have an output of organizational process assets, updates, requests for changes, and updates to our project management plan and other work performance information and even forecasts in the future. And that is a quick look at the project time management knowledge area in the fifth edition of the PIMBOK.